Hi, welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how to interface with an RGB LED module component using your MicroPython device. I will show you a technique on how to display your own custom desired color by studying the RGB model and how to apply pulse width modulation to achieve the expected color. I have here my Raspberry Pi Pico W device and my RGB LED module component wired together. The Raspberry Pi Pico W is running the latest MicroPython firmware and I also have here in the background my Tony IDE and the program that I will use to drive this RGB LED component. The code that I am going to show you is available in my GitHub repository which you can find in the description of this video. Now, let's start with the demo of the project. The first demo that I'm going to show you is how we can display the typical red, green, and blue sequence in our RGB LED component. I have here the program basic RGB that show that py and to run it, we just need to just copy these three files into the file system of your Raspberry Pi Pico and type exec open basic RGB that show that py that read. As you can see, the code will cycle into displaying the typical red, green, and blue color sequence, changing the duty cycle of the of each LED. We'll discuss more info later on how this code actually works but for now we just proceed with the next demo so for the next demo i will show you how you can control the intensity or brightness of your rgb led the code on how to do this is in this code which is the rgb dim brightness.py and we are just going to execute the command here and as you can see we are changing the intensity or the brightness of each LED color, which is the RGB. So for this demo, I'm just showing you that it's quite possible to change the intensity of each LED component using your MicroPython device. Now, for the exciting part, I am going to show you how you can display your own desired color using your MicroPython code. So, let's run this code, which is the custom color.py. And as you can see, our MicroPython micro program is cycling to a series of colors like white, yellow, sky blue or aqua, and then pink or pusha, which are the values that I have created here by just passing along a couple regarding the RGB model values for each desired color. I will explain more how this RGB model works, but for the meantime, that is all for the demo of this project. Would you like to know how I did this? Then let's start exploring. Now, I would like to mention why I wrote this post. In one of my MicroPython projects, I wanted to use multiple LEDs to display multiple colors that would represent the status of my project. But doing so would add more components and wirings. So I thought of using a single instance of an RGB module and by rebarying the color. However, the colors that I would like to show are not just the typical red, green, and blue colors. And if you look at the HTML color, pe color picker in the W3Schools website, what if I wanted to show a pusha pink like this one, or an aqua or a sky blue color like this one, or a violet with a different color like this one, then how can I do that in a MicroPython code? I look over the internet, but most of the articles that discuss this topic were not able to help me solve my problem. 
So I have decided to share with you my custom solution on how to control your RGB module color using your MicroPython device. Before we dive further, let us discuss first what an RGB LED module is. The RGB LED module is actually a mixture of three LEDs, which is the red, green, and blue LEDs packed in a single package. The module contains built-in current limiting resistors to prevent the LED from overcurrent. And in order to achieve the desired color, then you need to adjust the intensity of each of the LED, individual LED, which is the red, green, blue. The table at the side shows the usual specification of this component. Now, this is the wiring or schematic diagram for this post. You can choose the desired GPIO pins that you want in a Raspberry Pi Pico W board as all the GPIO pins can support pulse width modulation. Now, before I continue, I would like to discuss something regarding the RGB model. The RGB color model is used to represent images in electronic systems. It stands for red, green, and blue, which represents the primary colors from which you can derive the other colors. Think of it this way. If you have three kinds of paint with colors red, green, and blue, then you can derive additional colors by mixing these three colors. If we check the RGB representation for the color aqua, which is in this case here, you would notice that the values RGB 0, 255, 255 is shown here, which means the same as RGB, then 0 is the value of red, and then 255 is green, and 255 is blue. The range for each color is from 0 to 255 inclusive. A value of 0 means that the absence of such color and 255 means the maximum. So to create an aqua color, we just need to mix the green and blue color with maximum intensity with no trace of red. As I was mentioning above about changing the intensity or the value of each color in an RGB model, but the next question is, how do we do that in our circuit? So, enter the PWM or the pulse width modulation, which is a technique to approximately output analog signal from our digital pins. Microcontroller boards, GPIO pins usually output high and low, or either on or off. For our case, we can control how long the signal is high compared to its total period. From, the, from this image, you would notice that the blue arrow represents the period of our signal or the length of time before a signal completes its complete cycle. And the red arrow represents our on time or what we call as the duty cycle. As you can see, a 20% duty cycle means that the signal is on for 20% of the time. A 50% duty cycle means that the signal is on for half of the time and it is off for half of the time. While at the same time, a 75% duty cycle means it is on for three part of the whole period. If we do this passing up, then we can see that we can create an analog output. This the same technique is what we're go going to be using to control the brightness or intensity of our LEDs and how we can come up with multiple colors from our RGB module. Now, so much for jury, so it's about time that we move forward and show how to code this in MicroPython. We will start with the very, very basics and then move into how we can create the color that we want to be displayed by our RGB LED module. This code shows how you can configure your MicroPython device to display the basic red, green, and blue color in your RGB module. Let's try going through the code. So the first line, we just need to import the necessary packages for pin assignment, and PWM configurations. Next, we declare the pins that we are going to use and put them in an array. 
for easier access. And then at the same time, by using least comprehension, we set the frequency for each pins. So the frequency that we have chosen is 1000. So this is the length of time that we're going to output a complete signal for our PWM pins. The function here, the DNA PWM pins is needed so as we can deinitialize the pins from outputting PWM when we exit our application. So this is the main function for our program and as you can see, we are going to control the intensity of the red, green, and blue LED by setting their duty cycle using the function duty underscore U16 on each PWM pin. So for example, for the red, we're setting the duty cycle here and for green, the same value. So for example, if we're going to display a red LED, then we can just set the duty cycle into the maximum value, which is the 65 by 35. And then the other green and blue LED should turn off and then set it to 0 and 0. So that's basically how you can display a red and green LED by just toggling the LED that you wanted to set the value. Now, the code on how we can control the intensity and brightness of our LED is shown here. So the code for the initial part is similar to what I have shown earlier. And the, this function here, the turn off RGB, is just a convenience function that will turn off all RGB LEDs. Now, in the main function, we can call all our PWM pins and then turn everything off for a clear display first. And then for each RGB LED, we'll do a loop between the minimum value, which is 0, and the maximum value, which is 65.535 in a sequence with a step of 16. So, we will start counting from 0, 16, 32, and 64 until we reach the, the maximum value, which is 65.535. And then we set that duty cycle value, and then we sleep for some time. Executing this code will would vary the brightness or intensity of your RGB LED. Now we get to the exciting part and the solution to my earlier problem on how to show custom color on my RGB LED using MicroPython. I have here the colors dictionary object which will represent the colors for I want to display and the corresponding RGB values for each color. So, for example, if for the orange colors, we need to set the value for the red, which is 230, and then 138 for the green, and 0 for the blue. I have represented it as a Python tuple. And so, the next question that you might be thinking or asking is, how can I represent this value into the duty cycle, which is from 0 to 65.535? Well, I created a, a function here, which is the map range, which is equivalent to the Arduino map function if you have done some Arduino coding. So basically, what this code does is just map the value of 0 to 255 into the value 0 to 65.535. For a demo, let's try copying this code and then place it here. Now, I have defined already the function. So, if I call that function and pass in the value 0, and what will be the value when I call the map range function? If I click enter, then you would see that it is saying that map range is 0. If I pass in the maximum value, which is 255, then it will return to me a value which is 65535. 
as you can see the values that you can pass in the first parameter is represented as a value between 0 and 65535 let's try sampling a value like 100 as you can see the value 100 is mapped into the value 25700 by using this function map uh, underscore range then we can properly map the values between 0 and 255 into its corresponding value which is 0 and 65535 i hope you're getting where this code is going but if not then let's just continue the two function here which is that turn up and the dnit pwm pins would just turn up the rgb led and the initialize the PWM. The main function here is where the magic would happen. What we're going to do is to look through the list of colors here and then while looping, we will extract the tuple for each color and then for each color, we will get the value of the value red green and blue and then after getting the value red green and blue for each color we will call our function map underscore range to represent that value in a duty cycle between 0 and 65535 so as, as you are seeing in the code here i am representing the red green and blue with the corresponding duty cycle by using the map range function and by doing that you are able to do the display of your desired color so even if we go into this color picker here and you wanted a different shades like a, a much darker like this one just remember to copy the rgb value here which is 0, 102, 102, and then place it in the colors here. And you are now able to represent the color properly in your RGB module component. How cool is that, right? So, the companion write-up of this video contains much detailed explanation of the project. The write-up and code can be found in the description of this video. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!